Yeah. How does you attack me at Ignite Pro Wrestling? What's up, beautiful people? It is Sachin Gupta over here, back with another wrestling podcast. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to always enable notifications. And today, we have a very, very special guest over here. He is the current UKPW champion, Multiversal Alexander Roth. How are you doing, man? What you say, my brother? You all right, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm all good, thanks. How are you? I'm not bad, thank you, mate. Not bad, mate. Right, so how long have you been competing for? Nine years. Maybe ten years next next year. Sweet. Since I started, still. Damn. So, what age did you start wrestling at? I think I was 25, then I turned 26, like, the week later. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. Thing, so, do you have any training tips for those that are on the go doing shows in any field of sports sports and entertainment? I hear you talk about the gym quite a bit in some of your other podcasts. So, can you elaborate on that? Like, yeah, just put the work in, in it, and then wherever you put in, you should get back. Just make have to have a good work ethic, discipline yourself. It's a lifestyle change. It really is that simple, mate. If you can commit to those things, then you should be all right. That's calm, that's hard stuff. Only since I've had like uni and whatnot, what I've been doing is I've just been searching up 20 minute workouts, 30 minute workouts on YouTube. It may not be like something that I'm really used to, or I'll like, do that kind of stuff like, for like yoga. yoga. Hmm? I'll do that kind of thing for like yoga. I look for 20 minute workouts and 20 minute oh, no back way. stretches for yoga, but yeah, not workouts. So just I see stuff on like TikTok and YouTube and whatever, but I don't tend to like. Type it in the search bar. Do you know what I mean? Just what pops up, pops up sometimes. So. Oh, calm. Yeah, I literally did something like that in the morning today too. So there was this yoga for martial arts half an hour video. And yeah. I needed a bit of a cardio session because after wrestling training yesterday, I was training with, uh, I think you might know him, Jordan Said. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was know. training with those guys at Ref Pro. And man, I, woke, mm-hmm. I had a shoulder session in the morning too. So I woke up, I was feeling very, I couldn't move. My body part still, so I'm pretty, I'm kind of kind of new to the game, but at the same time, I'm, every time I step inside the ring, I'm like, oh, wait, do I, do I want to do this? Is, is this me? Is this for me? Am I too short? Is this, but it's like, after it's done, it's like, oh my God, I think I want more. <laughs> I think I want more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you, yeah, no, have you had that feeling when you were, when you were starting out? Oh, most definitely, yeah. Um, never, I never, I was never like, well, am I the right size or anything like that? I just it was just a case of how much do I want it. I knew I wanted it. Um that's why I was always training. I was training every week, two times a week, three times a week, different um training camps and training places to go train. That's when I first started out, there was a lot of that. And mate, yeah, I just I'm here now, isn't it? I'm just I've I've made it as far as I'm concerned. If I retire tomorrow, I'll be happy with the progress that I've made or the things that I've achieved. Satisfied, bro. It's just better to be easy in life. There's no point going around complaining all the time. Things is a lot harder that way, bro. So, as I said, and I'm going to probably keep saying, I'm easy, baby. Yeah. <laughs> mad, mad. So, where is the best place to shop when you're looking for food on the go before you wrestle a match or after you wrestle a match? Do you have like food a on the go? Pot? Yeah. Co-op, the co op meal does. Go hard. Mildos, yeah. Yeah, Tesco ones. Obviously, everyone's got a meal deal, and it's always like in between three to four, five pounds. You're going to Tesco Premium, but um, the best, the best flavors, the best tasting, right textures, and all the rest of it is definitely going to be co-op. Sainsbury's is all right, but co-op. Get that if you go next time you go co-op, you get a meal deal. Get the barbecue. Well, I think it's barbecue and bacon, chicken, pasta. Levels, bro. So, is what you wear outside the ring much different compared to what you wear inside of it? Well, I don't walk around in pants on the street. So, yes, I'd say it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I do wear... I don't know how you measure that, really. Like, I've got... Some might say I have some drip, I believe the young kids are calling it. And I definitely don't walk around... Outside of wrestling, looking like a bum, just it's not my way, bro. It's not how I grew up. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't say enough. I don't have like spend big money on clothes, but I know how to. I know how to wear clothes. 
And I had to wear clothes, bro. And I had to make a $30 outfit look like a $100 outfit. So, yeah, that's just one of those things that I was given by God. By the grace of God. How much have your mum and dad had an impact on your career in professional wrestling? None, really. Mum's a nurse, psychiatric nurse, not anymore. She's retired now, but she was. That's got nothing to do with wrestling. But that's basically a, a doorman, really. He's been a doorman my whole life. But he works a bit upper echelon venues. So, yeah, but I mean, maybe it's a security thing, but that's more like what I do in my day jobs as opposed to what I do in my my weekend warrior work, so to speak. So not really, bro, but more like more in the normal life, I'd say. So, yeah. Oh, that's, so. That's the whole wrestling life, yeah. What was your first memory of professional wrestling growing up? Probably something to do with WCW or Hulk Hogan. Maybe Ultimate Warrior. I remember having Ultimate Warrior toys, not knowing who it was, but I liked the toy. And I remember watching WCW and Channel 5 when I was younger. I started watching wrestling properly in the year 2000. So, any of those, mate, pick one. I'm 5'2". 5'2", yeah. I'm the tiniest person in any dojo in the UK as far as I know so far. Yeah, you're a small, small man, to be fair, at 5'2". And that's coming from a small, small man myself at 5'6". I wouldn't consider 5'6 small. I wouldn't consider 5'6 big, bro. What is big? 6.6 up. Anything from 6 up, I'd say. Oh, wait, speaking of Six Up, last time I researched you, you do have a tag team partner that's over six feet tall, that body builds. Big wavy Roy Johnson, man. So Big how waves. did you come together as a tag team? We came together through the 8-7. Um, obviously, before the 8-7, so to speak, I was in a tag team called The Hit Set with Kieran Krupp. And I was in that tag team for a, for a long time, about five years, maybe five, six years. Um, we won tag team championships and stuff. Um, we used to go to Sacrifice Pro in a car share with me, Big Wavy, Roy Johnson, and Kieran Corrupt. And obviously, on the journey to and from, we used to go like basically, we was always on, we was on every show. Basically, if there was a Sacrifice Professional Wrestling show, we was on it. Hits were on it. Big Wavy, Roy Johnson was on it. So we was always together, all the way there, all the way back, moderate talking. Banner, all that kind of stuff. And then we start talking about stables and stuff. If we like, if we had to have a stable, who do we have in it? This, that, the third. Obviously, we start well, the more we spoke about it, the more it became a reality. We started talking to the promoter, he liked the idea. And um originally it was a uh, big wavy Roy Johnson alongside the hit set, Kieran Clot, and myself. And we added Warren Banks to the mix. Obviously, now we've added this, that, the first for my cats outside. We've added uh, Jade and other people, but that's how, that's how it started. It started at Sacrifice Professional Wrestling in the car rides. That's it, really. The way that me and Big Wavy Roy Johnson started tagging is that Kieran Krupp got injured, and he's injured, basically. He's out for now. See? What ha- what hobbies do you have outside, outside of the ring besides from working out? Uh, gaming, really. I work a lot, so I only only have, only have time for gaming. So that's what I do. I game. Well, Single on. player games. That's it, really. That's that's my bag. That's where I live at. Third, third person open world. Single player games. Yes, absolutely. Lovely, love me a bit of that. What games are you playing right now? Right now, I'm playing two K twenty three of WWE, but obviously not a uh, third person open world single player game. But it's the game I'm playing currently. But before that, I was playing, um, uh, what do you call it, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm about to pick up Jedi uh, Survivor, I think it's called. The sequel. I still got to go through God of Wars. I still got to go through Last of Us 2. What are you saying? Hello. So, yeah, that's it, really. It's the gaming, bro. Wait. Wait, who are you talking to outside? Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? Oh, man, I love that. Now she's running away. Oh, man, then. What's her name? Movie. Oh, back to Rothmore. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man, how did he come about? Basically, to answer your question, (laughs) 
it started basically because I, I spoke a lot to TLDR. I spoke a lot and I wanted a character who, when, whenever he was in the ring, did not speak, just didn't, nothing. Just, there was no words. I didn't say anything. I didn't come out of the crowd. I can't feel the crowd and go, come on, or come on, Brighton, or come on, where, where I am, insert a city name here. None of that. Just, I'm out. Not mouth closed, but just, yeah. Mm. Ah, just that's what you hear from me and I'm beating the crap out of someone so it started like that and then it was working for a while and then I started enjoying being Rothmore so obviously what uh, Alexander Roth and Rothmore kind of mixed together I know it's a hybrid character but my main thing now is with Rothmore I will always do different moves than I do as Alexander Roth barring a few top top finishes and signatures and stuff but yeah, that's where it came from mate not wanting to talk but Rothmore does talk now he just says things in a very, very nasty way. No one laughs when Rothmore talks now. So I guess I've been working on it and it's worked out well. Yeah. Sorry for that elongated answer, but there you go. Yeah, that's calm, man. Where did Multiversal come from? That one's easy. So, but since 2015, I've had a wrestling title in some promotion every single year. Every single one. It's not been a year where I haven't been a champion. I don't know. I don't even know where Multiversal came from, but it's Multiversal. Multiversal is my equivalent of the belt collector. I'm Multiversal because I'm in this promotion with this championship, this promotion with this championship, and this promotion on my face, and that one on my heel, and that one I dress as Star Lord, and that one I wear shorts and I do MMA type stuff and I finish with a sleeper, and then that one over there I finish with a frog splash, and one over there I use a rough bottom. Sometimes I wear lightning trunks. Sometimes I wear my show jacket. Sometimes I've got my glove with my light on it, or I've got my sunglasses. I'm multiversal, baby. I'm everywhere and I'm everything. Do you understand? So that's why now, in terms of, like, I, I, don't, I haven't got rest, new wrestling gear for so long that I've been remixing all my old gear. But basically, what I do is I just buy new entrance gear. So when you see pictures and when I do my posts, it's me doing my entrances because I'm always, always look different. Once I'm in ring, it's just back to normal me. But yeah, that's the reason why. Loads of titles, loads of different, not gimmicks, but loads of different looks. Hence why I'm more universal. Damn. Even I'm second guessing my, my life choices after stepping inside that ring multiple times, man. Like I was told, see, last week I did okay. I wasn't, man, talk about going into the deep end, okay? I just got off the uh, beginner's course at Hustle Wrestle. And then a couple months later, I didn't really wrestle for a while. I had a few stuff that was going on. But then when I went back into the ring, I'm like, these guys are going to kill me. <laughs> Damn. But actually, I kind of want to go back in. <laughs> I want to get go back in there. Go back in, bro. Bite the bullet. Stop being such a pussy and just do it. Oh, fuck. No, I really do need to go back in. <laughs> yes. like, I find it really intriguing that wrestlers can just book can book days off when they're, like, competing and stuff. So what would, the, what, what would, you, what would you say to somebody that's kind of going through that phase where they're like okay i'm working but i want to compete but i don't know what to say to my say say to my boss and well it depends on who you work for it? my employer well the employer i had before was all right I literally when i started working with them i was like i'm not really available weekends because i kind of got another job which it is because i do get paid to wrestle and i have done since pretty much this acts to start so i look at it as another form of income no i don't so much see it as a job but it's definitely a form of income so that's why I treat it when I'm at work. I've got, I've got other jobs. I've told other jobs when I started. I've got the same my only job. I've worked on doors. I've got another job I do. They're like, what job's that? I'm just like, uh, entertainment. I'm an entertainer. They're like, oh, what field? Uh, all the fields. Don't worry about it too much. Because <laughs> what's going to happen is I say wrestling. Oh, wrestling? Really? Oh, my goodness. Johnny Good Show. I used to watch that when I was a child. Oh. Well, does it hurt? How much if it is real? I can't fuck with people like that, man. I can't lie. Like, that's some of the people in the gym that used to go to, used to come up to me and they're like, I'm a wrestling fan. I remember watching these guys back in the day. It's like, it's not really the same, though. I met Smash. Yeah, like, bro, always like, I, I used to watch it when I was younger. And I'm thinking, you used to watch it when you were younger. And you're, you're telling me I can still go to shows and I still, you know, I can't wait to watch it on a Saturday morning. Yes! Smackdown. No, no, I am a wrestler. I am. I am. What you used to watch is what I do. Do you know what I mean? But a lot of people don't grasp that. They oh, I used to watch it. Well, that's you're a wrestler. I used to watch that. Wow. Who would have funk it? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. 
people have been finding out through their own means, like for only follow on Instagram, yeah, go for it, it's my Insta. They're like, wait, 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 wh one second. What is this? Is that you? Is this is that you? I'm like, oh yeah, that's me. Wait, is that the wrestling? You're a real <laughs> uh, That's what I've got to deal with now. I don't remember what the question was. I'm just writing and raving again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, that's all good, man. That's all good. So there was actually something else that I've been meaning to ask you as well. So yeah, well, I know you're the U you're the EWE UK champion and you're the yeah, UK P I'm the e what, three I just five three oh. other championships. So what are they? I'll name them for you. I will name them. That's the kind name of them. champion. Tell them what it is. The motivation. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get tired, bro. Don't I make excuses. I can't do a wrestling podcast without mentioning Smashing Mike, man. Come on, man. My bro, oh my you know. Hey, I swear to God, he's my G. Anyway, I'm going to make him proud right now by listing up his goddamn championships. Uh, so, yeah, there's your title. Sacrifice Pro, EWE, EWA, Vortex, UKPW, Multiversal, Alexander Wolf. Da damn. Speaking of time, bro, we've already got like two minutes left. Yeah, so, yeah, buddy. Damn. So let's see. There was a couple of other questions I wanted to ask, but I think maybe this one. I was waiting until very last to say this. So, yeah. How did you attack me at Ignite Pro Wrestling? <laughs> yeah, you attacked me. I was there. I was there ringside, and I was saying, "Nah, man, don't worry. It's good. It's a, so what if you lost to Zander? But I mean, you just threw me to the side. What are you talking about, mate? I don't know what you're talking about. That was about. me. I wasn't at. I didn't wrestle at Ignite. Yes, you. That was fair, I saw you, bro. It was the opening match. That was the opening match. Good match as well, wasn't it? Yeah, you nearly beat my ass after that, man. Come on. That wasn't me, bro. That was another Alexander Roth. It was a variant. Welcome to the multiverse. What can I say? Oh, come on. You're going to use that. Nah, man. What's it, bro? I was a heel, bro. I was a heel. I know, you but get, you also you gave me that you death stare as well at the last you don't, you don't get... show in December, too, <laughs> yeah. man. I was because I, I, I knew who you was. You don't get to eyeball me. I don't give a damn if you paid ticket. You when I come out, you look at the goddamn floor. Show some oh. respect. It's just fun oh. and games, mate. Don't get any feelings about it too much. I'll give you a hug next time I see you. It's all right. It's all good. Oh, uh, you better give me. Oh, a... Why did you push me? Oh, why did you push me? Oh, push me. Why did you push me? That's not how I sound. That is not how I sound, man. Well, Rothmore came out a little bit there. That's not how you sound. It was more like, oh, sorry. Why did you push me? Oh, oh, please don't push me. Push me. Oh <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, anyway, cut. Oh, cut. 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 <laughs>